Okay, now this video is on how to buy the debt box project tokens in your SafePal wallet. The first thing you need to do is you need to uh, buy debt or swap for debt token. And then you need to swap the debt token for whatever project token you are going to purchase or that you want in your wallet. So I already have, I have debt token in this wallet, but uh, I don't like to use my debt token. So if, if I'm buying project tokens, I want to uh, buy more debt token and use that debt token. I don't spend any of my debt tokens in any of my wallets. So let's buy some debt token. So I'm going to, down at the bottom, I'm going to go to D apps. And there's two ways I, I can... Uh, do this. I can click on Pancake Swap under DeFi here, or I can click on the swap. When you click on the swap, that uh, doesn't that uses SafePal, and SafePal goes to Pancake Swap and does the swap and does all the other things. So you're, you're going to pay a little bit more fees when you do that. However, it is easier to just use the swap. Uh, button on uh, in SafePal, but I'm gonna do this going to Pancake Swap. So I'm gonna click on Pancake Swap. And once I get the Pancake Swap, I'm going to go to Trade Now. Okay, and now it gives me the swap screen. So the thing to be careful about pancake swap is that uh there's a lot of imposter tokens up here. And so you don't want to be buying tokens that are worthless. So I always uh uh input the contract address in there to make sure that I'm always using the token that I want. So where it says BNB, &B, um uh, I'm using USDT to buy uh, debt. So I'm going to click on USDT. And under uh, the second one, I'm going to click on there. And if you see here, you see a debt in here. And now I'm now I added this debt. So I know that that uh, symbol, that particular token is a legit token. But uh let me what i always do is i always like send the contract addresses to me in an email or have a file that i open uh so i can go right to the contract address and select it so i'm going to uh, uh copy this contract address that's in my email i'm going to go back to uh my um uh, my okay i just put in my passcode and went to my safe pal and i'm going to click on the down arrow next to cake and i'm going to uh paste that contract address of that and it's the same one because it tells me i have 29.78 debt in that particular wallet so i'm going to click on debt and now I am going to buy $20 of, of uh, USDT for debt, which will give me 1.10185 debt. And here, if you see the trading fee is 0 0.05 USDT, uh, the price impact is less than 0.1%. And I'm going to then just go ahead and, and click on the swap. Tell me 20 USD 1.10185 and I'm going to confirm the swap. Okay. And then again, it's, it's asking me to uh, confirm the approval. And it's telling me here, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, way, confirm. 
And then SafePal asked me to put in my code again. Uh, and it's asking me to confirm it again. I confirmed it. it says transaction submitted. Give me a transaction receipt. And if I click on the view on BSC scan, it will take me to uh, BSC scan so that I can see that the transaction has gone through. And you see I had the success for the, the transaction, the time set 10 seconds ago. And great. And we go back. Okay, so now I am going to, uh, with the debt that I purchased, one second, with the debt that I purchased, I'm going to buy some Nat G. So I'm going to go back over, I'm going to get my Nat G contract address just to make sure I have the, I end up with the right token. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm I'm going to paste in the Natri contract address. I'm gonna say import because I've never imported it before. So that's what happens when you're doing it for the first time. So I click on imp import. Anyone can create tokens on BNB Smart Chain with any name, including creating fake versions of existing tokens and tokens that claim to represent projects that do not have a token. If you purchase a fraudulent token, you may be exposed to a permanent loss of funds. Well, I know that because I put in the address myself and I'm click I understand and say import. So I know that contract address is legit. So for, I'm going to, for, uh, uh, let me see, 0.6 debt, which is about $10.81, let's say 0.51, that gives me $9.19. Since I'm trying to get this as close to $10 as possible, so let's say 0 0.55, 0 0.91, almost. Six, so ten point oh nine U.S. dollars is point five six debt. That that will uh, give me here one net G equals that. And if I come down here, net G. Okay, and let's go ahead and. So, okay, if you see here, it's not letting me swap. It says price impact too high. So if that, if you're getting that, then you want to go to this uh, settings wheel that's under the swap one, two, three, four over to settings wheel. Click on that settings wheel. Nope, that's not the sweating wheel. That's recent transaction. Click on the settings wheel. And you see where it says customize routing down at the end? Click on that. And I want to turn off the version pancake swap version 3. I want to turn that off. And if it still doesn't work after I do that, then I want to come back here and under routing preference, uh, uh, uncheck allow multi hops and uncheck allow split routing. But let's go ahead and try it without that. So I'll click on the X to go back. Click on the X again to go back there. And now you see I have the swap button again. So now I'm going to click swap. And now it's giving me the uh, approvals. Okay, so I'm just go ahead and going to click confirm swap and it's showing me the fees I'm going to click on 
one thing I want to show you. You see where it says authorized limit and it says no limit in there? You don't want that because um, there's no limit to what somebody can come back do uh, and do based on the approval that it's going to give you. So since I'm swapping 0.56 debt, I am going to go ahead and click in there and say 0 0.56. So I'm telling it that that's the limit that's on there and no one can go back in and change that. And I just go ahead and click confirm. And you see it's enabling spend spending debt. And it wants me to confirm again. So I click confirm. And it says transaction submitted. And I'm going to go ahead and click the X. And that's how you uh, buy a project token in SafePal.